obviously it's getting closer to that. Um, we feel like they're at a point where, you know, they're doing well. And, you know, obviously they got to get through these final steps and hurdles and, um, you know, rack up some time here. But um, starting to plan and get excited for them, you know, hopefully join us at some point on the homestand. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes early in uh, rehab assignments, you can project the head guy might need six or seven games. What are you thinking when it comes to that? Um, well, with, with Giancarlo, we feel like this weekend might finish him off and, and he'd be ready pretty early in the homestand for us. With Aaron, especially he'll be DH in these first two days, I think he's going to play probably right field probably Sunday. Um, but we'll want him to get out there and, and get some back-to-back -back games where he's on defense. And it's more about building up that kind of in-baseball shape sort of thing. Um, Whereas, obviously, Giancarlo's a little further along there, but um, feel really good about physically where Aaron's at right now. now Aaron, was it really just the, because it seems like he's come pretty fast after finally getting outside to hit. Was that sort of almost the final obstacle for you guys to feel comfortable with him to really, you know? Yeah, because with that injury, obviously hitting was going to be the last thing and the thing that we we're going to be, you know, conservative with and, and almost careful with to make sure we felt like that was completely out of there before you start ramping him up. Now it's, you know, because the nature of that injury too, you're down, you got to kind of build up and get back in shape a little bit. And, um, you know, I think the work he's been able to put in not only at home before he left for Tampa but now down in Tampa uh, we feel like he's in really good shape now now it's just a matter of racking up some innings where he's playing in a game getting the at-bats and playing on defense and and kind of all that goes with that Montgomery through uh, batting practice today? Today, 1 in 20. I didn't hear how it went, but that was the plan, yeah. Is he still kind of on track to be back possibly for August? It's possible, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to put an exact timetable, but yeah, he's he's moving in a good direction. Is there any uh, update with Bernie? No, <laughs> just still, still dealing with that with the plantar fascia you know it's it's been slow to heal um so he hasn't been able to kind of cross get over that hump to where he's really been able to ramp up and just kind of off and on dealing with the foot soreness that's that's been an issue for him well he's kind of gone in and out of um you know he's doing a lot of conditioning and stuff on the alter g he was hitting there for a while and throwing but you know it's kind of been a week-to-week, day-to-day thing where it's he's had some good days and had some days where it's it's been a little bit of a struggle for him. He's stayed down in Tampa. Mm -hmm. this. Yeah. <coughs> there he is. Can I go still work on Sunday? Uh, Masa go Monday. Monday. Paxton Sunday, Masa on Monday. Is that because of the pitch count the last time? A little bit. That was a little bit of a factor. It was like, yeah, obviously both of those guys would go on normal rest Sunday, and we just decided with Masa being over 100, thought he could benefit a little more from the extra day.